12 backyard must have accessories coming at you right now. Whether you have a backyard space, whether you're thinking about doing a backyard space, you need these 12 accessories for your backyard. Here we go. All right, accessory number one is a must have and it's speakers, backyard speakers. Of course, you wanna do weatherproof, waterproof speakers, but you could also do just typical in ceiling speakers like you see at a covered, usually this is in a covered space. It could be a deck, it could be a covered structure. You can put them in the ceiling. You can put them on the edge of the posts. So built-in speakers. Now, why are built-in speakers so important? Well, you first of all, they're gonna set the mood for the evening, set the mood for the party. It's gonna get people outside and keep them outside. And just having that background music going, having it be center stage so you can turn up the music and have a little uh, you know, dance party. Now, you will realize this, without the music, what, your party is just doesn't have the life. You add that little bit of background music and it changes the mood. Another thing that you can explore is the portable speaker. We use Sonos, you probably heard that. In fact, these built-in units that we have are all Sonos speakers. And Sonos has come out with a beautiful portable speaker and it connects right to your Wi-Fi. It could also connect to your Bluetooth, but it will also connect to all your other Sonos speakers, both on the outside of your home and on the inside. You can play music and you can go in and out of your house and everything's tied in and even that portable is tied in. So think about that. Another thing I wanna say is speakers are wonderful for those theater nights. So we love setting up a theater. That is an accessory on its own, but set up a theater and now all of your built-in speakers can be connected to that. And so you can have that movie night. Everybody can hear the movie playing no matter where they're at in the, the backyard. We play a double-sided movie theater so people could be in the pool, little dive-in movie, and it could be on the outside and everybody, no matter where they are in the landscape, can hear that movie playing. Speakers as an accessory are a must have. Accessory number two, as you're looking at pictures and you're thinking about your outdoor space, what are you seeing? Everybody has lighting. You need lighting for your space. Why is it? Well, it's beautiful. It's gonna enhance your backyard. It's gonna enhance it from all angles, from outside of the house, from inside of the house. As soon as the lighting comes on at night, wow, pulls you right out there and it makes it such a beautiful space. Lighting also does a great job of pulling you from point A to point B. Very safely, by the way, was, you know, if it's dark, you can't get as easy from point A to point B. The lighting helps that. It also directs you to where the destination is. That's why I love a pathway with lighting. It's gonna pull you deeper into the landscape to another destination. So lighting is a must have. Another little trick with lighting is the bistro lights. They're very popular, they're very inexpensive. They're gonna light up a large space and they're gonna bring you to the party, so to speak. So use bistro lights strategically. I like to put my bistro lights in the dining area. It seems like if you can cross that dining area, that destination, that's a main destination in the evening hours, and it's gonna pull the group right over to that spot as soon as those lights come on. Another really cool thing about the accessory with lighting is the ability to control it. You can control it with the remote control, your smart device, you can change the mood. It's amazing what this modern outdoor lighting systems allow. Our next accessory is water features. I really love a water feature in the landscape. I love the way it just makes you feel at peace. You walk outside, you hear the trickle of that water feature, it instantly takes you to a different place. It lets the stress melt away and it puts you in a peaceful and serene mood almost as soon as you enter your space. That's why I love a water feature. There's lots of different examples of water features. A traditional water feature might just be a stream and that stream could go into a pond. Beautiful, very popular in a landscape environment. It does set more of that nature mood. So depending on the style of your backyard or even the style of your home, that stream style might work very well for you. But if you have more of a modern aesthetic, you might consider some of the modern water features. Now these could be done in trough water features. You can even have falls pouring into those. It could be flower pot water features. Now this is more of a Tuscan style right here. You can have a spigot going into that and basically it flows through it and then just recycles right back up to the spigot. Looks really pretty, sets the mood, gives you a nice decorative feature for the landscape as well. If you have a pool or a hot tub, you can use a sheer descent as well. That's another style of a water feature. The, the cool thing I like about these or all these water feature styles is it gives you the ability to drown out some of the neighborhood noise. It's, we're in a neighborhood right here, there's planes going by, there's people working in the background all the time. 
So just having that sense of nature with the water sound, I don't know if you can hear it uh, right now, but in the background, I have a sheer descent where that water's going and it just, I love the sound that's in the background always. So water feature definitely is a is so important accessory for your backyard. A brief interruption to let you know how important it is to think through your space. We design everything in 3D and we do a lot of these accessories that we're talking about within our design program so you can really see the full space as you're living in it in this 3D world. So please consider a 3D. I also wanna let you know that we do this for clients all around the world and we wanna help you too, no matter where you live. In fact, we're gonna be in Georgia, we're gonna be in New Orleans, and we want to help you. So if you're over there, great. Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to stop by and see if I can help you out. But no matter where you are, let us know below where you live and let me see if I can come and visit you and help you out. But pretty much we do everything virtually, so we'd love to get going with the design virtually right now. There's a link below that'll show you our design process click the link, it'll show you our pricing. The next accessory we have is a mister. Now this is summertime use, but you're gonna love it. It's just gonna cool off the space. And you think about it, like a mister is used when you're sitting in line at an amusement park because it's so hot and you just need to cool off. The same principle is there for your backyard. Add a mister, people will be using it. You'll be outside, you don't wanna go into the air conditioner, you wanna be out there hanging out with family and friends and the mister will make that possible. Our next accessory is something a blast from the past. Think of how many people used lanterns and candles and torches in the past. We're bringing those back to the modern landscape. They're beautiful to have. They're a great accessory. Add a candle to your space and it's gonna give you that flickering light. Add a torch to the space and it's gonna attract the party. But these do a great job of just adding more environment to your backyard. Think about when you go to a restaurant, a nice restaurant, they'll have the candle at the, the dinner table, a lantern or a candle or a torch does the same thing. It, it prepares the evening hours for the fun that you're gonna have in your backyard. So really think about these features, just adding them, they're inexpensive and they're gonna add a lot to your backyard life. Another thing I love about these is they do a great job of repelling insects. Citronella within these features allow you to be outside and extend that space even with the insects that are trying to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> It'll repel those insects and give you the ability to be in your own backyard enjoying that space. Our next accessory is heating and cooling, especially the heating aspect. We're gonna talk about some ways, other ways to cool, but the heating will keep you outside and extend those hours of being outdoors. A lot of people are letting us know they wanna be outside all year round if they can, four seasons in their space. And the heaters will give you the ability to do that. Now heaters can be added to a covered structure. That's very, very common. Look at all of the examples that we have here with heaters in a structure. Now, a lot of times they're on the beam angled into the structure, but you could also do them in a ceiling under the structure. They're really going to create that nice warm feeling inside of the room. It's going to also add as an additional accessory to your fireplace. Obviously fireplaces are very common, they're a heat source, but the heaters just give you the ability to be outside all season, even if it's very, very cold temperatures. The secondary part of these heaters is the ambiance that they give you. They do light up the space and they give you that warm kind of glow in the space that's going to attract you. So imagine being out under your structure, maybe watching the fire, just dance, having a glass of wine with your partner and just enjoying that evening hours. But the glow of those heaters are gonna give you that secondary ambiance of the space. Now let's transition over to the cooling aspect. And what I was thinking of is the fans that you could have in your space. We do a lot of ceiling fans for our covered structures and it does do a great job of cooling you off. Add those misters that we already talked about with the fans and it's really gonna cool that space down. In fact, you're gonna be shocked at how much it cools that space down. So the fans do a great job of circulating the air, cooling off the space. It does a surprisingly good job of repelling bugs. In fact, what I've done at my house is I'll have a ceiling fan and then I'll even have secondary fans kind of blowing smoke out is because we're barbecuing a lot and it gets pretty hot. So this, the fans on the ground or on the counters will blow that smoke out and repel the bugs at the same time. So fans could be used in the ceilings. It could also be used on tabletops, just cooling off the space around you. 
All right, our next accessory is one for the summertime. It's the umbrellas in the shade. I use Shade FX for a lot of our structures. They do a great job of giving you dual control, the ability to open and close. But I love an individual umbrella. They're inexpensive and you can take them where you need to. In fact, I am a shade seeker. You might have seen this from other videos. I need shade when I'm outside because I've been outside pretty much my whole life working with clients and helping with them with their backyard. So I need shade so bad. And I just bring my little umbrella pretty much wherever I go in my landscape. It kind of follows me if I'm lounging, if I'm hanging out in the pool, I'll be over in the shade, especially if I'm close to an umbrella. Now, even in our pool, we have the ability to put a, an umbrella in a holder, and that does a great job of casting a, a nice little lounge area for us, even in the pool. But wherever you are in your backyard, you can think of that shade. Now, another accessory is the shade cell. Look at what we did. This backyard, they had a Western exposure, so the sun was setting right in that afternoon hours, and I live that life too. But a shade cell properly placed gave them the ability to be outside, to grill, to dine, and to enjoy their space, even in that setting sun that is so hot. Three of these are great accessories for your backyard. Choose one and enjoy. The next accessory is pillows and rugs. These are so important, you probably don't even realize how important they are. We do a lot of, of built-in seating, so seat walls, and a pillow is surprisingly so important every time I'm around my fire pit. So I need my pillow, in fact I stack two uh, in my, in, with my seat wall. If you are just in a chair, a pillow's great, it's cozy, but it's also inviting. So you think of it from a decorative term, they're beautiful to look at. They're gonna add a little bit of pizzazz to, this, to the space, but they're very cozy and comfortable as well. Now, why would you think about a rug? A rug does a great job of framing in a destination. So I do a, a rug in all the important places underneath my dining area. I also do a rug as a destination under my covered structure, almost like what you'd see in a living room. And any other spaces that you think of having destinations, Add a rug to the space and you'll be shocked at how many people just want to meander, want to wander over to that space and enjoy it. I also love a rug because it softens a space. Think about a hot day, you're out in your backyard. If you have a rug, it's going to cool off the space. It's going to make it so the sun's not reflecting on the hard surface. It's going to soften it and it's going to make it cooler for you to enjoy. A rug does a great job of adding color and texture to the space. Make a beautiful backyard without all of the accessories that we're talking about, especially a rug and the pillows, some of the softening things that we do. And it's a completely different job. It's a completely different backyard. As soon as you add those rugs and those accessories with the pillows and all the things that we're, we're talking about, creates a true outdoor living space. That's what we're thinking about. That's what we want to do is you want to be out in your backyard using it as living space. You can see why we are calling this the backyard must have accessories. I'm sure you want all of them. Here's another video I want you to see. It's on fire features. It's so important to have a fire feature. Here's a whole video on it right now. I know you're going to love that. Enjoy.